Hi folks, in this composition breakdown we're going to take a look at my piece, Cessna. <laughs> So first of all, the story that inspired the piece. We arrived at this airfield in amongst rural New Hampshire and he took us out and showed us the plane we were going up in, which was a Cessna. And the tune really is describing the flight that John took us on uh, from the takeoff through the cruise and the flight back to the landing. Right, let's get cracking then. So the introduction of Cessna starting off with these repeating nodes. You'll notice those little accents that I'm doing with my thumb there, and that's supposed to be, you know, doing two things really musically. One of which is it's that kind of anticipation. You know, you hear this and you know something's coming, right? And that was exactly the feeling of going along that runway. It's that anticipation that something awesome is going to happen very, very soon. And then also it's that kind of um, almost hypnotic, repetitive nature of, you know, the sound of the engine. And then as we continue through the tune, we start adding layers um, to that uh, drone in the bass. And the idea was this, you know, it's building, it's building, it's building, we're getting faster, we're getting faster. And the you know, nervous anticipation of what's to come builds as you're going down that runway, right? So you start with this. And we add this. Then. Then we hit the moment of takeoff, which is um, brought to you by this arpeggio. With my right hand, I'm going thumb, thumb, index, middle, ring across the strings. And I'm with my left hand, I'm peeling away one finger at a time, like so, rather than, for example, doing it more as like a chord shape where everything sustains. I wanted to make sure that every single note and it felt like it was an individual. And that's that feeling of like, oh, whoa, and we're off. And that's the takeoff, the feeling of the ground leaving you. And we have the main melody. And throughout that section there, you can hear that we've just passing that kind of chugging um, bass drone into the lower strings still there we have a little reprise of our um, arpeggio there and it moves into this section we've got ourselves some harmonics and what I'm doing there is keeping a bass note on and then just flattening my first finger almost like a little bar to get those harmonics and then my right hand takes the rest of the work. Now, this central section of the piece here for me, this was the kind of middle part of this uh, flight. We had kind of gone through that ex you know, the exhilarating takeoff and getting up to altitude. We'd taken in those initial sparky elements of looking out the window, and then we kind of settled into just enjoying this cruise um, and the, just the general beauty of being up there and just looking out at fields for um, as far as the eye could see. So you can hear there we've suddenly dropped away from that constant bass chug. Uh, just to give a slightly different vibe. And then here we have that bass note coming back in, but we've got some slightly darker sounds here. of our main 
themes, but this time they're slightly bigger. We've got some slightly denser chords, like this, with the addition of the fifth string rather than just six, four, and three. It just fills it all up a bit more. We've gone through those ideas again and we come into the final section of the piece here and you'll hear that after this little bridging section we land somewhere differently and this time as you'll notice the drone has now transferred and is now on the third string higher up rather than being on the bass so for this section here in my head and the imagery around it was you know catching glimpse of that runway in the distance and the um, anticipation of the landing and this time we've thrown the melodies into the bass instead so we've kind of flipped it all on its head now in order to keep that drone going you'll notice that I'm kind of jumping around so this note here of E obviously you can find it here you can find it here and in order to um, you know, allow me to get to those different melody notes and keep them consistent on the same string, you'll notice that I will be jumping between. And then we take that melody and we really fatten it up. If this was the orchestral version, this would be where the brass kicks in. As we're really getting close to that runway now. And here, you can hear these um, hammers. For me, that was the kind of, there was the, the first touches of, of um, the wheels on the tarmac those little bounces and then we land and you notice that after all of that tension all of that excitement all of that build up the the ending is actually it feels quite abrupt quite sudden and that's by design because um, you know that was the experience we had really with the flight um, after all of that build up, all of that anticipation, we've suddenly landed, the aircraft slows down very, very quickly, and we're done, and it's all over. So, there we go. That's Cessna. I hope you enjoyed that little exploration into the piece, and I hope that helps if you're thinking of learning it, or indeed um, if you're thinking of um, adding some of those ideas into your own composition and how you can take kind of experiences and imagery and let them guide a piece of music that you're writing.